In this next session, I'm going to talk about customizing stuff in your desktop. So basically customizing the theme on the desktop, customizing the font size and so on. So to customize anything, it's a couple ways to do it. One of the easiest would be to right click on the desktop and then choose to personalize. So if you can click here, on, uh, if you go and click on personalize from here, you can go under background and then you can choose a different picture as a background, for example, that you might prefer. Then it's going to change also the theme or the colors to match that uh, background. So you can choose to fit it here, also the size of it and such. As far as the colors, you can choose to automatically pick an accent color from your background. So that means that if you use a different background, you like also the shading and the color types to be changing, you can simply, it will automatically adjust that. If you don't like that feature, you can turn it off right here. And notice there are other options here as well, including the high contrast settings. As far as the lock screen, you can also choose as to what you want for the lock screen. If you like a specific picture, it will be, you can pick your picture. If you want the window spotlight, I actually like that. It gives you pictures automatically and are updated from time to time automatically. And the other thing that you can do here is that, is that you can customize the theme. So if you click here under themes and we go under theme settings, this is where you can customize it. It's kind of like the look and feel of Windows 7 actually. So here is where you can change, for example, download new themes. You can go and get more themes online. You can change what kind of color you want to have applied to it. You can change also additional settings such as the desktop icons, the pointers and all that type of thing. Again, if you're not sure as far as one of the options, for example, desktop icons or so on, in the future you want to change something that uh, you don't know where that setting is, of course, make sure you search it in the search window below here. So those are some of the options on how to personalize the desktop and how to personalize this. Now, if you probably noticed here that uh, I do not have any icons on the desktop. The reason for that is because I hid them earlier as I started this recording. To hide and show the icons on the desktop, you can simply click on view here and choose to show the desktop icons and then all of those are back and showing.